motivation. I think whenever you're motivating a team, you've got to understand the feeling in the camp. Now, all being well, you've probably worked with, with that group for a month, a year, even a week, whatever it may be. So you've got to understand that the bulk of your work has, has been done beforehand. So you know the shape, you want to make sure that the players individually and collectively know exactly what's being asked of them. And, and one thing I always say to my players, and I've said it more than once, quite often, Sometimes it's a case just before kickoff of relaxing players, you know, they're all hyped up, they're ready to go, you don't have to do that. What you have to do sometimes is relax them a little bit and take those nerves away from them and take the pressures away from them. Now, I normally do that by saying to them, listen, if you're nervous, have a walk down the corridor and go in their dressing room. Because there's more talent in this dressing room than there is down the corridor and that's often the case. So all of a sudden, you're putting yourself in their position. How do they feel playing against you? Playing against a better player? Playing against a quicker player? Playing against maybe a team that are not as well drilled as you are as collectively as a group? And it's that trade-off then. And start to say, right, put yourself in their position. How do you think they feel? They're playing in England at Wembley against you. And then all of a sudden, you, you know, it puts a different mindset in your, in, your, in your mind as a player. And I think that's important. And, the best managers judge the mood of individual players and collectively as the group. I think what they do, they walk in that dressing room, their ears are open, before the game, half time, after the game. You pick up the signs and then you deliver the message that you think is right and proper at the, at the right time. It's not always, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Sometimes it's a quiet word. Sometimes it's no word at all. Sometimes it's silence. But you've got to find the right mood and the best managers smell that mood very quickly. I think it's like all individual players have got different things that motivate them. You know, from, you know, some are motivated by money, some are motivated by winning the England cap, some are motivated by just by victory, some are internally motivated, some are externally motivated. The trick is to get to know them as people. And then from there, it's like everyone. I think everyone likes to be, you know, lauded and told how well they're done. As soon as you know the individual, you'll know what will motivate them. Some can't respond to, to a real kick where it hurts, so you don't deliver that, you know? Some only like a pat on the back and a quiet word. Some don't respond particularly well with you talk in front of the group, so it's a quiet word in their ear then, you know? Or it might be a word before you get to the ground about what you expect from them and express their talent and take all the pressure off of them in some way. So, you know, sometimes the ones with the biggest mouth in the dressing room are covering a multitude of sins. And, and they're, the, they're the nervous ones, the ones you think are all up for it and God knows what else, you know? That's, that's the important thing, you've got to understand that's... If I see a kid sat there very quiet and I see another one shouting his mouth off, I don't automatically assume that this fella's ready for a game and this one's a nervous kitten. Sometimes it's the one shouting his mouth off, the nervous one, that just needs, hey, come on, we don't need a shout, it's fine. We've done our work. <laughs>